All right, you have a, a very unique position on Jacinda Ardern because you can look at her as global Saint Jacinda from your position in the United Kingdom. But of course, uh, as a New Zealander as well, you're not uh, you're not mollified by this idea that she's a saint because you've seen her the reaction to her at home in New Zealand. She's just left the parliament now. She's got two big gigs. Uh, one is a special envoy to the Christchurch call. Some say this is about silencing free speech online. Uh, she's also been appointed to the board of the Earthshot Prize, working alongside Prince William. Uh, what do you think of the new global Jacinda? Well, I have to say, I was very disappointed with Prince William Peter, and I'm a big supporter of the Prince of Wales usually, and I believe he's been given very bad advice here. I think his advisers clearly are living in a metropolitan bubble where they love the Vogue version of Jacinda Ardern and are not aware of the fact that this is actually the most divisive politician in New Zealand in recent memory. She has torn the country apart. So I think if William has any common sense, he will actually rescind this offer to Ardern, aware of the fact now that she is divisive and it would actually make Earthshot a partisan organisation. I mean, just, uh, just, just imagine, Peter, for one second, if William had made the same offer to Boris Johnson, the former Prime Minister of the UK, who, by the way, did far more for the Green Lobby than Jacinda Ardern ever did it wouldn't happen. And so that is hypocrisy. I think William has to be very careful as the heir to the throne to stay out of politics. And I think getting in bed with mm. Jacinda Ardern is a mistake. We've seen here in Australia this afternoon, a lot of the detail come out in relation to the coronation. Certainly the route is there. We've seen, of course, uh, the Australian-made Diamond Jubilee coach uh, for people at home. It's made by a terrific bloke uh, out Parksway in New South Wales. That will be used for the uh, king to arrive at the Abbey. But we still don't know, do we, whether Harry and Meghan will turn up. I call them the ginger and the whinger. Uh, they're sitting there on the fence, perhaps, hoping that we'll all talk about them, which we are. What's likely to happen? Well, do you know what, Peter? King Charles should tear their invitation up. Don't you agree? I mean, there is an RSVP. They have had weeks. What they're trying to do is turn the King's coronation, the most important day in the life of Charles III, into a sideshow, into a reality TV circus. And I feel like they've had their chance now. They want to make it all about them. So King Charles via his courtiers should go back very politely and say, look, you've, you've, you've had your time. We've given you weeks. You've clearly decided not to come. The invitation is gone. But you know what will probably happen because King Charles is a big softy and he wants to do the right thing by his son. What will probably happen is that they will end up coming. They will end up trying to steal the show because that's really all they've got going for them now. And if they want to keep those big money deals rolling in from the likes of Netflix and the likes of Spotify, then they have to have proximity to the royal family. But personally, I think if Charles had any common sense, he would say enough is enough now. End this side I think show. he will. I think he will.